Hi guys, so today I'm bringing you a fun tutorial. I absolutely love being able to do artistic looks for you guys. Here you will see a detailed liner look and a cut crease with the red lip and some rhinestones. I collaborated on this Caravana tutorial with Queenie, so don't forget to go check out her video after this one. And I love you guys, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm starting out by priming my eyelids and I'm using Max Off Ochre Paint Pot. This is going to allow my eyeshadows to last longer and also appear more vibrant. And yes, I do sniff the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette every single time because it smells like chocolate. I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and blending a light brown eyeshadow that's more on the warmer side into my crease and above my crease. And then I'm going to take a dense blending brush and I'm going to apply a darker brown eyeshadow to start carving out my crease always keep in mind the fluffier the blending brush the lighter the application will be so those brushes are really great for blending out your eyeshadows for a nice soft application I'm going to take a black eyeliner pencil and I'm going to further define my crease and then I'm going to use a pencil brush to blend out that eyeliner. Now I'm going to go in with a silver eyeliner pencil and this is going to be my base for my eyeshadows that I'll be applying to my lid area. So yeah, make sure your pencils are nice and sharpened and that you put your lids on because it will dry your eyeliner out and see how nice and smoothly it's going on now? Yeah. <laughs> So this is your time you want to take to start perfecting that cut crease. And now I'm going to blend it out with my fingers. I'm going to take a frosty white eyeshadow, so any frosted white eyeshadow and a very fluffy blending brush and I'm going to apply this to my inner corners. Now I'm going to take a dense eyeshadow brush and I'm going to apply that same exact eyeshadow and the same rule applies. This brush is going to apply a heavier application and that fluffy brush gave it a nice soft look. So as you see the same eyeshadow, different appearance. Now I'm taking this red orange eyeshadow and I'm just applying it to my inner corners above my crease where my nose and my eyelid meets. Now I'm going to have some fun with some glitter and I'm going to use this silver glitter and I'm going to apply it to my inner corners of my lid and I'm only taking this to the center of my lid. I'm not putting this all over the lid, mostly in the inner corners. Now I'm going to line my eyes and I will be doing a more dramatic eyeliner. So I'm going to extend my outer corners and then connect it to my lid. And then I'm going to fill it in. And now to really intensify my cut crease, I'm going to drag my eyeliner up and apply it to my crease. Now I'm going to go in with that same red eyeshadow and I'm just going to smoke the heck out of my lower lash line. I'm using a fluffy blending brush to really give it a diffused look and then I'm going in with a MAC 239 to give it a more defined, precise look. So the same eyeshadow, different brush will add dimension to your look. So you can actually use the same brown eyeshadows or any color really and just change up your brush and it will add so much dimension with that same eyeshadow. A little trick. 
now I'm taking a black eyeliner and I'm just lining my waterline and I found my most dramatic lashes and these are my Esquito lashes uh, voila lash and I'm just applying that and smoking out my lower lash line with some black eyeshadow and a pencil brush for precision The more you blend, the more smoked out it will look. So take your time blending. I'm going to extend my liner and give myself a more feline look. This takes a little practice. I definitely had to practice doing that kind of eyeliner look. So definitely practice, practice, practice. Now I am contouring my cheekbones with my Anastasia palette, which I always use. As you can see, I've hit pan on my highlighter color. And now for my cheeks, I'm using my Cinnamon Powder Blush by NYX Cosmetics. And for some little sparkle fun, I'm going to use my lash glue and I'm putting on some rhinestones. For the fun part, because you guys know I love me some red lips, I'm going to line my lips and fill them in with Cherry Lip Liner by MAC. And now Ruby Woo, which is my all-time favorite matte lipstick, and your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun tutorial. I absolutely had fun with this collaboration. Please don't forget to go check out Queenie's video. She is super talented, and look at that look. It's absolutely stunning. I am so excited to have been able to do this collaboration with such a talented girl, so check her out. Thank you guys, and until my next video, Bye!